We are back in the daytime kitchen with Mary Rappaport from the Virginia Egg Council, along with her little helpers, Lydia and Evelyn. And this time we're making what, Lydia? Um, sausage and, and egg breakfast cupcakes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, Very we're good. making actually breakfast cupcakes for each uh -huh. segment, the next one as well. And we call them cupcakes. Why? Why do you think we call them cupcakes, Evelyn? Because they're in cupcakes. Yes, they're cupcake in cupcake holders. Perfect. Yeah, there yeah. you go. That, and that's how we made them. And everybody has cupcake holders at home. Sure. So the first thing we did was we sprayed with um, a vegetable spray the insides of these. And then go ahead, girls, and take the sausage patties and show the folks at home how you do this. So um, you want to flatten it Yeah, out. flatten it out. And Very you tell, tell them at, at home what it, it seems to be like when you do that. It's kind of like playing with Play-Doh or clay. Mm -hmm. You just put it in the bottom and you flatten it out. And if you do it so that it's at room temperature, it's not really cold, it, it's softer and it does it better. And you right. want to make sure you don't have any holes in it. Okay. And mm -hmm. then have something close by that you can wipe your hands because you will get, it gets mucky. Yep. And okay, we already so washed our hands so we, we know so that we know that clean. they're nice and clean. Okay, okay, then go ahead and crack the second egg. They've already cracked one egg. Go ahead and we're going we're gonna to have Two eggs are going to be enough to fit in four of these. Good job, girls. Okay. And you can mix this um, in, a, in a mixer or with, go ahead and put it in, but we have these little blenders. You can use this a knife or, I mean, a fork or a, um, an egg beater. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Gosh, but we're going to use these impressed. little blenders because nice they job. do a nice job. Go ahead and blend it up. Okay. Evelyn, you do this and then you can do that. Okay, and you just want to do it so that it's blended. Okay. Okay, and so you can go ahead and pour yours out. And Evelyn, what did we learn when we were practicing this? Is it better to just pour it all or to do what? To pour less. Pour less, because you can always pour more, right? But if it's all over the floor and all over the counter, it's hard to get it up. It's That's better true. just to start off with a little bit less. And you can go, you can go back and you can pour. You can, we can put two the eggs rest. Will yeah. make what four? Two, two eggs will be make four of them very nicely. It depends on the size of your cupcake things, mm -hmm. also. Okay. Okay. This was I made a little bit of a mess here. Okay, and then you fill it. You salt and pepper it, and we've got this cute little salt oh, and pepper guy cute. here. <laughs> so there's salt. And a tip is, if you don't know uh, which is salt and which is pepper, the one that has more holes is usually salt. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, oh, so now you know that. that. You learn something new every day. Amazing. And also, when you put a salt and pepper shaker on the table, think of P.S. that you write at the end of a letter. Yeah. P the pepper always goes before the salt. Pepper and salt. Like wow. Okay. okay. And then you can fill this with anything you want. What are we going to do, girls? We've got lots of good fillings here. Okay. You go ahead. So diced tomatoes and cheese and sausage. Yeah, and we have pepperonis. different kinds of cheeses. Uh -huh. We've got bacon bits that we're not going to put in here because we already have meat. Okay, so that we, makes sense. it's like overkill, uh -huh. right? So you can do, um, and this is, you can tell what this is, right? Basil. That's basil. basil. You can tell basil. It so smells more minty. It smells. Stuff. It is part of the mint family. You're mm -hmm. exactly right. And so you're using mozzarella cheese there. And I'm going to show the folks at home. I was going to say, how long does this yeah. bake for? You bake it at 350 degrees. I love it. I love it. And it takes about 25 minutes to do. Okay. And then when they're done, we just put these in these cupcake papers. Perfect. You can refrigerate them, take them out, microwave them, and they're so, so delicious. Good. So good. All right. So when we come back, we'll be making another recipe. Don't go away. Uh -huh. You're watching Daytime Blue Ridge.